Influence of K-slash-NA Component Ratio on Physical Properties of KNN Ceramics Abstract In recent years, considerable efforts have been made toward the control of processing techniques, volatile mass, and component ratio of potassium and sodium in order to improve physical properties of KNN ceramics. In this paper, the influence of physical properties of the KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics, fabricated using conventional solid-state reaction method, on K-slash-NA component ratio was examined. The densities of ceramic sample changed depending on the variation of X parameter from 0.47 to 0.52 mol percent. The highest value of density is 4.26 G-cm3 at potassium content X of 0.48 mol percent, corresponding with the uniform in microstructure of ceramic surface. Effects of K-slash-NA ratios in the vicinity of morphotropic phase boundary on microstructure, ferroelectric and piezoelectric properties are also examined. The K0.48 NA0.52 NBO3 system centered at 1090 OC shows the highest values of remnant polarization PR equals 3,19.C slash CM2 at the applied coercive electric field EC equals 7,16 kV slash CM. At X equals 0.48 mole percent, Electromechanical coupling factor Kp of 0.26 and the piezoelectric constant D33 of 69 pc n also can be obtained, related to homogeneous grain size of orthohombic phase. Keywords, ratio of K-NA, piezoelectric, KNN-based lead-free ceramics. I. Introduction. In previous decades, piezoelectric ceramic systems basing on titanium zirconate lead, PZT, are widely studied and applied in many fields 1 to 3. However, due to the toxicity of lead 4, 5, the development of lead-free piezoelectric ceramic systems with excellent electric and piezoelectric properties to replace lead-based ceramics in different devices is necessary 6. Among lead-free systems, ceramics based on, NA, K, NBO3, KNN, have attracted a lot of attention due to their prominent ferroelectric properties, high curie temperature, about 420 OC, and environmentally friendly, capable of replacing the lead-based ceramics. However, it is difficult to manufacture KNN ceramics with a high density and good electrical properties using conventional sintering process due to the high volatility of alkaline elements at high sintering temperature 7, 8. In addition, the ratio of K-NA in the vicinity of morphotropic phase boundary, MPB, is also one of the main reasons affecting the properties of KNN ceramics. Some reports suggested that the KNN ceramic with the ratio of K-NA components at 0.5-0.5 has excellent dielectric and piezoelectric properties due to the existence of morphological phase boundary between two phases 9, 10. Meanwhile, other reports issued physical properties of the KNN system are dominated by presence of not morphotropic phase boundary but polymorphic phase boundary 11, 12. In addition, the exact K-NA component ratio to obtain KNN ceramics with prominent characteristics is sensitive with raw compositions. That is, the effect of K-NA ratio on the physical properties of KNN ceramics has been still controversial. In this paper, Ceramics with the chemical formula, KXNA1X, and BO3 are made using conventional solid-state reaction methods. The changes in structural characteristics, dielectric ferroelectric and piezoelectric properties of fabricated ceramics when potassium component, X, varies from 0.47 to 0.52 mole percent has been carried out. Results of this paper hope to contribute the understanding about microstructure and physical properties of KNN ceramics depending on the change of ratio potassium slash sodium component. 2. Experimental. The general formula of the studied material was KXNA1X and BO3, where X are 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, and 0.52 mole percent respectively. Reagent grade oxide powders, purity equals 99%, of K2CO3, Na2CO3, 
and B205 were used as raw materials. Before being weighed, the K2CO3 and Na2CO3 powders were dried in an oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 2 hours to minimize the effect of moisture. Mixed powder was milled in 8 hours to obtain an appropriate distribution of the particle size. The small particle size will improve the reactivity of the powders. 13. 2 calcination sat temperature 850 degrees Celsius for 2 hours were then performed to obtain compositionally homogeneous powders and the single phase formation. 14. Thereafter the calcined, powders were ball milled again for 16 hours to create a more uniform distribution of powders and the reaction occurs completely 14. The ground materials were pressed into disc 12 mm in diameter and 1.5 mm in thick under 100 MPa. In order to limit the evaporation of alkaline elements, these pellets were covered by the powders with the same composition and then were sintered in a sealed alumina crucible at the temperature of 1090 degrees Celsius for two hours. The crystal structures of the sintered samples were examined by X-ray diffraction with CUK. Radiation equals 0.15406 nanometers, XRD, D8 advanced Bruker. The grain morphology of the samples was examined by scanning electron microscopy, Nova Nano SEM 450 Fe. The densities of samples were measured by Archimedes method. The ceramic samples were pulled in a silicone oil bath at 80 degrees Celsius by applying DC field of 30 kV slash cm for 20 minutes then cooling under the same electric. Eld. They were aged for 24 hours prior to testing. The dielectric constant at room temperature is calculated by measuring the capacitance C of samples using RLC Hyoki 3532 at frequency of 1 kHz. The ferroelectric property was measured by Sawyer Tower method. The piezoelectric properties were determined from the resonance and anti-resonance frequency by using an IMPTANCE analyzer HP1493A and RLC Hyoki 3532. Three results and discussion. Fig 1, A, shows the density of the, KXNA1X, and BO3 ceramic sample sintered at 1090 degrees Celsius as a function of the potassium, K, content. The, K0.47 and A0.53, and BO3 ceramics shows low density, 4.08 G slash CM3. With increasing of K content, the density initially increases and reaches the maximum value of 4.26 G/cm3 at 0.48 mol percent potassium, then decreases. These results are consistent with microstructure of fracture surfaces of the samples as shown in Fig.1, B, Dash 1, F. As shown in Fig.1, B, the microstructure of the K0.47 and A0.53 NBO3 consisted of irregular large and small grains, the discrete distributions, porous. However, the microstructure of samples becomes denser and more uniform as the potassium content increases from 0.47 to 0.48 mol percent, Fig 1, C. Fig 1. The potassium content dependence of the density of KNN ceramics measured at room temperature and the SEM micrographs of KXNA1X, and BO3 ceramics with X equals 0.47, B, X equals 0.48, C, X equals 0.49, D, X equals 0.50, E, and X equals 0.52, F. Fig 1, D, E, and, F, show that with further increasing potassium content to 0.52 mol percent, the particle size increased sharply. In addition, the shape and size of particles were no longer uniform. Such with the 0.48 mol percent potassium, homogeneous microstructure of ceramic was obtained. Fig 2 shows the crossroad patterns at room temperature with the two. Range from 20 O to 80 O of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramic samples sintered at 1090 degrees Celsius. It can be seen that all samples with X from 0.47 to 0.52 mol percent exhibited single phase structure of perovskite ABO3 without trace of secondary phases. 
In order to distinguish whether the fabricated samples have orthorhombic or tetragonal structure, the intensities of the Fig 2 X-ray diffraction patterns of the KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics Double peaks in the X-ray diffraction patterns are further considered. The corresponding XRD patterns characterized by the double peaks in which intensity of 110 and 220 peaks higher than that of 001 and 020 peaks respectively. According to Skidmore and co-authors report, this indicated that all ceramic samples have orthorhombic phase 15. In addition, the intensity of the double diffraction peaks in Fig 2 is the same through all X values. This result shows that the phase structure of KNN system is completely unaffected by the changes of K slash NA component ratio in the range X equals 0.47.0.52 mole percent. The changes of potassium content also significantly affect electric properties of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics. Fig 3 shows the room temperature dielectric constant E and dielectric loss 10. Measured at 1 kHz frequency of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics as a function of the potassium contents, X. The dielectric constant E increases with the rise in potassium content and reaches value 391 at X equals 0.48. However, when X 0.49, the dielectric constant E decreases. This is related to density and microstructure of ceramics. The varying tendency of dielectric loss tangent with the potassium contents is inverse to that of the measured dielectric constant. The minimum value of dielectric loss obtained at X equals 0.48 mole percent potassium is 0.07. Fig 3. Room temperature dielectric constant E and dielectric loss 10. Of KNN ceramics as a function of the potassium, X mole percent, content. Fig 4. Hysteresis loops of, K0.48 NA0.52, NBO3 ceramic sample measured at room temperature. Fig 4 shows the shape of ferroelectric hysteresis loops of, K0.48 NA0.52, NBO3 sample measured at room temperature. Then, the remnant polarization PR and the coercive field EC of ceramics as a function of the potassium contents, X, were determined, as shown in Fig 5. Experimental results show that pure KNN ceramics has a typical hysteresis loop of ferroelectric materials. With increasing of potassium component, X percent mole, initially the remnant polarization tends to increase, reaches the maximum value of PR equals 3.19.C slash CM2 at X equals 0.48 mole percent, and then decreases. Meanwhile, the coercive field decreased to the lowest value of EC equals 7.26 kV slash CM as the same potassium content, after that raises again. To determine piezoelectric properties of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics sittering at 1090 OC, Resonant vibration spectra of samples were measured at room temperature. From these resonant spectra, piezoelectric parameters of samples were obtained. Fig 6 shows the electromechanical coupling factors of radial vibration mode, Kp, and piezoelectric constant, D33, changing as a function of the potassium content. At 0.48 mole percent of potassium, the electrical parameters became prominent due to the well arrangement of microstructure of the ceramics. Fig 5. The remnant polarization, PR, and coercive field, EC, of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics as a function of the potassium, X mole percent, content. Fig 6. The potassium content dependence of the values Kp and D33 of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics. The largest values for Kp of 0.26, D33 of 69 PC slash N, reached at X equals 0.48 mole percent. And then piezoelectric parameters rapidly decrease when potassium content continue raising. These properties of, KXNA1X, 
NBO3 ceramics at X of 0.48 mole percent corresponding the microstructures of well-faceted and homogeneously distributed grains. For conclusion. The lead-free KNN ceramics with different K-NA ratios in the vicinity of morphotropic phase boundary were fabricated. All samples has simple perovskite structure. The effect of ratios of K-NA component on the structure, microstructure and dielectric, ferroelectric properties of KXNA1X and BO3 ceramics was studied. The KNN ceramic with X equals 0.48 mole percent sintered at 1090 OC shows smallest values of dielectric loss and coercive field. The best dielectric constant, remnant polarization, electromechanical coupling factors, and piezoelectric constant were obtained at potassium component content of 0.48 mole percent of KNN ceramic, corresponding to the highest density and homogeneous grain size.